Hey y'all, JP here, and today I'm playing Dr. Dirk's Mutant Battlegrounds, a game where you have mutants and they battle on the ground. Little on the nose has a description, but I think it works. Anyway, I bought this on Steam for about, I don't know, $5. Looked interesting. So, let's play it. So, while I uh, set up the beginning of this game, let me explain a bit more about it. As you, uh, what this game is, in the way it was described, is a western setting, dinosaur based MOBA, I think it's what they called it. Which you have these little creature, uh, these little creatures that you hatch from eggs called, uh, Dirklings. Thus the name, Dr. Dirk's Mutant Battlegrounds, you know. Now, what this uh, creature does, or what it is, is it works with a, what do they call it, a neural network, which is what those little AI things are made of. I don't actually know how they work. I'm technologically illiterate, so as far as I'm concerned, it's some form of computer magic. So you just give these little dudes a name. I don't know. The first of his line. No name before him. The first, just, just the first of his name. <laughs> okay. Now you hatch these old guys, and they have, I think it was, uh, 12 senses, 30 responses, and 3,000 possibilities. Now... Currently, Mr. The First of His Name can't actually do anything, so we have to equip him with a weapon. In this case, the weakest of weapons, I believe, the Talon. So, he's armed. Now, currently, while he is armed, he's not smart. He knows nothing. He is a newborn baby in this world of chaos or whatever. So, you have to train him. So, we drag him over here where we just put him, and we... Hit the train button. And here we are. He, uh, he really does not know what to do right now. Now, like I was saying, this game has a bit of a claim to fame, and that is it works on a neural, a neural, and I can't speak, wonderful. <laughs> it works on a neural. Network, I think, is what they called. Again, I have no idea how that works. Like, actually works. I know what it does, but I don't know. It's computer sorcery to me, okay? But the way it pretty much works is all these little triangles are a different variation of our little creature. Or, the same variation of our little creature doing different things. And, well, every time he does a, something, he gets a reward. In this case, gold. Now... You can give him gold for anything. Attacking buildings, attacking enemies. Ooh, like that, yes, attacking a building. He's a genius, and he's only on his third training round. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he's stuck on a wall. Yeah, he's doing better. And I, I realize now that he's a purple and green dinosaur, and I had the chance to call him Barney. Son of a... <laughs> anyway. He earns gold every time he does something positive, and he loses gold every time he does something negative. So, if he attacks the building, he gets a reward. If he falls off a cliff, he gets less of a reward in this case. We take away his reward. <laughs> and as he does this, various versions of him which get more and more gold will pretty much be the proto-jays, or the predecessors of the next training round. And all the ones that didn't get enough gold get cut off or whatever. Again, I really am just talking out of my ass on this one, but that's pretty much how I'm 95% sure it works. And he's, uh, confused, I guess. I don't know. But like I was saying... Whichever ones do the best pretty much survive to the next generation, and then they do it again over and over, continuously getting better at their goal. So, kind of like selective breeding of dinosaurs. Now this one is 
having trouble realizing, hey, I should stab that statue. So what we're going to do is first pause it, click on our little buddy, and here are his um, rewards, or in this case, gold, which is used to incentivize him to learn things in training. You can both set positive and negative rewards. A negative reward just being a punishment. Now we really want this guy to attack statues because there's no enemies to be hitting so let's just ramp it up to like, I don't know, 12? That looks good. He really can't heal anything. And we really don't... Hmm. We'll put that at zero. And close. And while we're doing this, there's another bounty, which is just the miscellaneous. Pretty much everything that applies to everyone. Friendly fire, heal enemy, statue takes damage, take fall damage. Basically the stuff he's not supposed to be doing. Take fall damage appears to be under 500. Which I think I may have actually put it there myself. When I played through this the first time. But... Yeah, that's a pretty good thing. Don't want him incentivized to fall, but let's bring that down to, I don't know, 50? No, 50. Uh, there we go. Probably be easier just to type it, but you know. And now, he is more incentivized to commit vandalism instead of assault. However, this may take a while, so... It may take a while for him to learn... So we might want to hit the fast forward button right here and have him go through a couple, maybe just a few rounds, okay? So I'll cut back when that's over, okay? See you soon. And we're back. Currently our little monstrosity is at uh, a 46% wins, 52% ties and 2% loss. Yeah, I think that's almost passing, right? I don't know how he's losing. He's not fighting against anyone. But close enough. He's ready for the battlefield. Let's begin. So now we're going to actually battle against people, which cool thing about this game, you can actually you have a leaderboard against other players. Like, there's a couple of computers just to make sure, I guess, from the beginning of the game that there was something to aspire towards, but now that there's actually people playing the game, there are other people. Um, now, the goal here is pretty much to get to Division 1, the greatest division, you know? You want to be the very best that no one ever was, that kind of stuff. I can't say any more because then they'll sue me, but you know what I mean. <laughs> now... We want to get to Division 1, however, we are not that. We are Division 4. No, wait, are we under Division 4? Huh. We're not even Division 4, we're worse than that. We're not even on the score. We've literally broke the charts. <laughs> and not in a good way. Maybe it's because we haven't fought anything, but I could have sworn you automatically appear on this thing. Anyway, let's move the first of his name over to act, um, to the battle team. Soon, he will show up and we can hit battle and play the game. Oh, there we are. No, wait, is that us? Now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm sorry, this thing is... Uh, we are Division 2. How did we do that? Maybe... I don't know. I, I restarted this, so maybe that's why. <laughs> anyway, let's begin and fight something. And now we shall begin our battle. Oh, we are fucked. Or maybe not. Maybe he's smarter. Maybe he has, like, street smarts, and the other guy might be strong, but he is not skilled. Oh, he's really not skilled. He just tried to paralyze his own statue. How are we winning this? <laughs> I guess we won. Our kid got street smarts, baby. And after a victory, we get a new... Um, accessories and training opponents. 
Now, training opponents are good for a reason, and I think your character doesn't actually learn from battles. So you have to get this thing, like say this scarecrow here, a dummy unit, who you can fight against in training. So your guy knows how to, you know, punch people. But we already did some training this episode, so let's just keep fighting and see if we can't win again. I kind of want to see how far our little monster can go before something finally kicks his ass. Um, we appear to be lucking out unless this idiot runs off the cliff. If you run off that cliff and somehow lose to no one, so help me, buddy. Ooh, yay! He's smart! Sort of. He may actually tie with no one. Our poor, poor idiot. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got another opponent. Uh, we got a crab. Dummy unit, equipped with long snapping claws. Okay. I still want to see how long it takes him to get his ass kicked. Or at the very least, beaten. So let's do this again. Okay, is this going to be the fight to end all fights? Er, are you going to go for that statue? I mean, the other guy isn't looking too smart. Hit the statue! Don't moonwalk. Oh. Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay, uh. I think our, uh. Mr. The First of His Name may need a bit more training. Because so far he's kind of just getting ties. So. We'll get back after that, okay? See you soon. Anyway, after a good 40 rounds of training, our Dirkling has finally learned that, um, violence is the answer sometimes. However, he has also developed a strange fascination with throwing himself off cliffs, so that's probably something I should be concerned about, but we'll fight anyway. So I was thinking maybe we should like hold a couple more battles after this, like a tournament or something, to decide if this Let's Play has been a failure or a success. I'm not knowing if I'm doing going to do 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 5, but one of those maybe. Whatever ends up feeling more appropriate. <laughs> oh, that was a tie. I think we're fighting the same guy over and over. I think he might be kicking our ass right now. But our Dirkling is made of tougher stuff. Or he's going to run around in circles. Maybe we can beat him. Kill him! Ty. Okay, we seem to have gotten another guy, so maybe we can actually win a fight or lose one of the another. <laughs> I'm also kind of surprised our little monstrosity is making it this far. In fact, he seems to be getting his ass whooped right now. Fight back! Dodging doesn't do anything if your point is to score points. <laughs> and we tied. This is going to be a running theme, isn't it? Okay. You can win. Oh, dang. No. <laughs> Darn you. Chof. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, but we have been defeated. How unfortunate. Kind of expected, but unfortunate. So, we got like five ties in a row, and then we got launched off a cliff by the guy who's currently kicking our ass. Like that. So, I think we might be in the wrong division. I think they had the weight classes for a reason. So we're probably just going to pop back up when we get an egg or something spectacular happens. So, see you soon.
Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. You did it! Now just stay away, son of a... <laughs> well... It's a victory? <laughs> okay, I guess that counts. We're now in Division 1. We are one of the greatest fighters ever, and that was while still bringing talons to a gunfight. <laughs> What did we get? Um, Cleavers. Have he even powerful but slow hitting melee item. Wonderful. I guess that's a high point to win. Uh, I guess that's a high point to go out on. We destroyed a statue and left to our deaths. <laughs> okay. Um, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Any comments, concerns, or criticisms, leave them down below. Have a wonderful day. See y'all later. I hope y'all enjoy the video.